All right, guys, we're moving along. <laughs> I hope you're doing awesome. I know I'm spitting a lot of stuff fast. Take your time going through this. I'll go 100 miles per hour, put me on slow, stop every couple of seconds and go. Now, let me think about this. Take your time with it. I'm giving it to you quick in these sessions. We'll release impartation on the lives. But I want you to take your time looking at the passages. Say, okay, when a man speaks in tongues, he doesn't speak to men, but he speaks to God. That's what we looked at in the last session. This one, I want to talk to you about mysteries. I want to talk to you about mysteries, all right? So let's look at the next verse right here. He says that it's in the same verse, verse 2. He says, a man who speaks in tongues does not speak to men, but to God. For no one understands him. However, in the spirit, he speaks mysteries. You're speaking in the spirit when you pray in tongues and that you're speaking mysteries. Okay, what are these mysteries? What are these mysteries? Okay, when I read that verse, I think about Jesus, what he said to the disciples when talking about the parables. He says, it's been given to you to know the mysteries of the kingdom. First thing that you need to know, it's your inheritance is to know the deep things of God. That's your inheritance. We know 1 Corinthians 2 that the spirit searches the deep things of God. And he makes known to us the things freely given to us by God. When you pray in tongues for extended periods of time, this is what I want you to begin to expect, okay? Because you've got to first break off that mysteries aren't for you. You've got to break off, well, that's for Corey or that's for that preacher or that guy or this guy. Mysteries are for you, friend. It is your inheritance is to know the deep things of God. Now, when we talk about mysteries, I want to say this. They're not hidden from you. They're hidden for you. The mysteries of God are aspects and truths concerning one, concerning God. Number two, you discover the mysteries of who you are to God and the plans of God for your life. I believe that, that it says in Ephesians that we are his workmanship which he created for good works. And I believe those mysteries are connected with the works that God has prepared for you. They're already prepared. When you're praying in tongues, you're praying into the mind of God to say, God, what are those things about me? Another aspect is, God, tell me about you. And then the third aspect is people in your life and people that are in need. People that are in your life and people that are in need that will begin to come to the mindset where they're, they're hidden, but when you begin to pray in tongues, God begins to shine his light upon them and bring you into a conscious knowing of, of God, of you, and of people that are in need. This is absolutely critical. Now, for me, when I this is how God works with me, and I think it's important that this is all about it, okay? He's going to say this. He's going to say about, I wish you all spoke with tongues. Verse six, he says this, 1 Corinthians 14, six. But now, brethren, if I come to you speaking in tongues, what shall I profit you unless I speak to you either by revelation, by knowledge, by prophesying, or by teaching? Even the very fact of, of, of my ministry of teaching, preaching, revelation, knowledge, and prophesying you see this. What I see is the thousands of hours of praying in tongues that precede what I'm getting. I need you to understand that I don't go to the Bible for messages. I open up my heart and I pray in the spirit while reading it and the word of God explodes. See, when I talk about mysteries, this is something I need you to know. The way God, and you're going to learn your anointing. You're going to study your anointing and how God reveals mysteries to you. And you're going to grow in this through speaking in tongues. So this is what happens to me. Bible verses come alive to me. The word of God explodes. That's one of the ways the mysteries come alive to me. I get new facets of God I've never thought about before. And they become highlighted. 3D, 4D. And God drills down in a chapter that might emphasize a truth concerning God's nature. Number two. I will read something in the word or he'll talk to me about who I am to him and what he's doing. I feel like he's unfolding it. Another aspect of mysteries is the people that are in need. 
It used to shock me. I would pray in tongues in my early days and I would start thinking about someone that I haven't seen in forever. I imagine that happens to you all the time. And then you run into them and you hadn't seen them in two years. What is that? Holy Spirit saying, get ready. I'm putting them on your radar because you're, you're about to run into them. Now, at first, that shocked me. I go, oh my gosh, I was just thinking about you two days ago. Now, when the Holy Spirit brings them to my mind, I ask them, God, what is it? Where are they at? What do they need? How can I partner with you with being your agent of grace and mercy and power in their life? Sometimes he'll say to me, I want you to give them money. Other people, I want you to pray this over them. I want you to break this off of them. I want you to speak this to them. And I want you to join with me in being my legs and feet, being my voice in their life. This is how the mystery realm opens up. Guys, this is how I believe the dream life opens up. This is how I believe that the, the realm of visions begin to open up is through extended times of speaking in tongues. I want you to become a glutton for the spirit of revelation and for the mysteries of God to flood your being. Lord, I ask you to release this in the name of Jesus. Amen.